And what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. And I just wanted to uh, address a question that one of my VIP members had in regards to uh, using their plugins and getting them scanned in inside of machine. Um, I'm on a 64-bit uh, operating system. And if you're in a 64-bit operating system, you definitely want to take advantage of the 64-bit OS because it's going to give you a better overall performance of your plugin. And it gives you a lot more uh, import options and things like that using machine. So, for example, this right here, you see I'm on a, on Windows 8. So, for Windows 8 users, I'm going to go ahead and show you this right quick. Now, a lot of people say the start menu's gone and, and all that good stuff, but it still works the same. Like, you go to the top of your screen, it also does finger gestures how it does on a MacBook. So it pretty much works the same. Once you get familiar with the operating system, it's pretty much the same. The start menu is just replaced with this little folder right here. So when I click on this, it, it basically allows you to get inside of your computer. So if I go over here to where it says program files 86, and I go down here to native instruments, or rather machine, you notice this folder here. VST plugins 32 bit, 64 bit times 86, and also a machine icon here. Now, the ones that said VST 32 and 64, this is where you're going to find your DLL file. So, if you want to put this in Ableton Live or whatever type of DAW that you have, or if you want to use the machine effects DAW, this is for opening it up as a, v, as a VST. You get 32, 32 mode here, you got the, the 64 bit mode here. So, that's where you find that you want to copy and paste those VST folders label it in another folder such as native instruments the times 86 one this one on top this is the 32-bit folder this one here is the 64-bit folder so if i right click on here go to properties and you look right here under details i believe yeah see 1.8.2 times 64 that means that's a 64-bit application so when i go into here under 86 same thing right click properties go to details Right there, you see IA32. That's a 32-bit platform. So check it out. If I go here, open this up, let machine run. Just got to give it a sec to uh, come up because I'm screen recording or whatever. All right. Now, when you go right here where it says machine, you notice right here it says 64-bit mode, 64-bit right there. This is the 64-bit uh, version. Okay, we'll close this out. Oops. All right, now if I go under here under File, Preferences, Plugins, you see right here, I have the 32-bit icon here where it shows the 32-bit icons, okay? So we'll close that out. Now we'll go back. We'll go to, to the Times 86 version. We'll right-click on that. We'll open that. And I gotta make sure my serials don't show up on there also. And we hit we hit right here where it says machine. 32 bit mode. You see what I mean? Alright, so now when I go under file, whoops, I'll keep doing that. Go under file, preferences, plugins, there's the 64 bit. Where it shows my 64 bit plugins loaded up uh inside of there. Okay, so that's pretty much how you can tell the difference between a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version of machine. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.